When people say they want to lose weight, what they really mean is they want to lose body fat. But how can you know if you're losing fat and not something more important like muscle? Some experts recommend using body fat measurements, though I've never done any of these myself because I was told they're not very accurate. But two weeks ago, a family member said to me, you look like you're bulking up. What do you mean by? So we're going to test out eight different body fat measurements to see which of these is the most accurate and which one is the best for you to use. If anyone ever tells you that you look like you've been bulking up. But first, let's get naked. Here's what I currently look like with my shirt off. And I want you to guess what you think my body fat percentage is in the comments. And if you commented a number higher than 30%, well then, you're just mean. And you've earned yourself a special place in Hey, so I'm guessing my actual body fat percentage right now is about 15%. And I'll tell you why I think that when we get to our very last method. Let's start the tests. Our first one is the Navy body method. Supposedly, this is super simple to do and it's accurate within three to 4%. And you can do this all by yourself without any assistance. I can do it myself. You get the measurement of your neck circumference at its narrowest. Then you'll take your waist circumference at the navel. Females will also need a hip measurement at the widest. Then you just plug all these numbers into an online calculator and 16.2%. Eh, I've had better. You probably recognize that the biggest problem with this method would be user error. If I suck my stomach in and pull a little tighter, I can decrease my waist by one and a half inches, which then gives me a result of 12.9%. But without sucking in, we got 16.2%. So we're gonna put accuracy here. And because all you need is a measuring tape and it's simple and quick to do, we're gonna put ease, time, and cost at second best. Next method. Next up is the skin fold test. And we're gonna use some pinchers. If you wanna get fancy with it, they're called calipers. Now I ordered some medical grade calipers and these bad boys are really sharp. These might be for autopsies. There's a three site, four site, and seven site method, but you'll need someone else's help to get back measurements with the four and seven site. Can you help? No! So I'm going to do the three site test because you only need measurements of your chest, stomach, and thigh. Some research has reported that skin fold measurements are the most reliable. You simply pinch the fat and the skin at the locations for your chest, then your abdomen, and finally your thigh. Take those numbers, plug them into another online calculator, and we get 12.4% body fat. I wish that were true. We're putting the accuracy of calipers here because it underestimated my body fat percentage way more than the Navy body method overestimated it. The price is still really cheap, but it takes a little more time to do, and it's not the easiest thing I've done this week. Next method. It's my bathroom scale. If you have a bathroom scale that measures body fat percentage, it's using something known as bioelectrical impedance analysis, or BIA. BIA works by sending an electrical current through your body and then measuring the amount of time that it takes to flow through. Then it does some fancy calculations based on that time, plus your height, weight, and age, and boom. 20.7%. Are you lying sack of Low cost models can have error rates that are higher than 10%. I'm hoping that my scale is one of those models because I really don't believe that I'm at 20% body fat, which you'll see when we get to our last method. So we're gonna say accuracy goes here because it's been the furthest off so far. Price can vary, but most are between 20 and $60. And it's super quick and easy because you just step on your scale and you get a reading. Next method. Let's see if a more expensive form of bioelectrical impedance analysis can give us a more accurate reading. This is the Omron fat loss monitor and it cost me about $300. Bathroom scales send an electrical signal up one leg and down the other. The Omron device sends a signal from one hand to the other and passes across your body. You just have to plug in your height, weight, age, 
and gender. Then you hold it out in front of you like you're playing Mario Kart. And the Omron says I'm at 14.5%. So the low cost commercial devices can be pretty imprecise and have error rates greater than 10%. I don't know if this counts as a low cost commercial device. I personally don't think it's that low cost, but it's really close to the 15% baseline. So we're gonna put accuracy here. And while this was just as easy and quick as my digital scale, it's much more expensive. Supposedly, research grade BIA devices can have much lower error rates and give you results that are around 5% accurate. So our next method is the InBody 270, which I don't own because it costs $7,000. So we're driving to the nearest gym that has one. InBody scans are one of the more popular body fat scales and a lot of local gyms carry them. It still uses bioelectrical impedance analysis, but this time it'll be sending a signal both through my feet and through my hands. When you get these scans done, it'll generate this cool little printout of all your results. And this reading said I was at 14.1% body fat, just 0.4% less than the Omron said I was. So we're gonna say it's pretty accurate, but we're gonna drop the ease, time, and cost down here because you'll have to drive somewhere and pay to have it done if you don't wanna spend $7,000 on your own machine. For our next method, I headed back home. I wanted to try out one of these newer 3D scan methods because honestly, it's just kind of cool. And according to some industry experts, these might be the gold standard in the future. So I downloaded a free app called Zozo Fit. After you enter your weight and height into the app, it then guides you through a series of prompts and takes pictures of your entire body. It then uses those pictures to create a 3D layout and calculate your body fat percentage. And supposedly, it has a pretty small margin of error. Only 0.4 centimeters, depending on the location of the measurement on your body. But my results determined I was at 17.8% body fat. Not too good. And I didn't realize this until after I finished, but I guess the Zozo app uses circumference measurements and the Navy body method to determine body fat percentage. So it's the same method as the first one we tried out, only not quite as accurate. And because it takes a lot longer to complete this entire scan, I'd probably sooner stick with doing the measurements myself. I can do it myself. Shh. It's time to get serious. Cause our next method is the DEXA scan. The DEXA scan is considered by many to be the gold standard for body fat percentage. Though others have argued against this point. Supposedly, the DEXA scan tends to have standard errors of just 2.5 to 3.5% which is better than air displacement or bod pods, as well as underwater or hydrostatic weighing. And because I couldn't find a place that has a bod pod or hydrostatic weighing that wasn't more than three hours away from me, we're doing a DEXA scan. The DEXA works by sending low dose x-rays through your body, and it's mainly used for looking at bone density, but it can also be used to calculate your lean mass and your total body fat. And in comparison to everything else we've tested, it should be the most accurate. And it certainly was the most expensive. I had to pay $165 just to get this one scan done. I also had to drive an hour to an arthritis and an osteoporosis center. Then I had to lie down without moving for a total of six minutes. And of course I got an itch on my nose about two seconds into the test. And now that it's done, I have to wait 24 to 48 hours for the results to be sent back to me. So I'll see you again tomorrow, hopefully. Our results are in just 20 hours later. All right, y'all, I got the DEXA scan results. You ready for this? I'm at 23.5% body fat. How? Look, this could really mess you up if you thought this was the most accurate measure of body fat. I mean, how in the hell am I 23.5% body fat? This is what one pound of body fat looks like. According to my DEXA scan, I have two of these in each one of my arms. 
And I have seven of these in my waist. I've also got five of these in each one of these beautiful, pasty chicken legs. This is the opposite of what I expected to happen, but I'm putting the DEXA scan at the very bottom of both rankings. It's the furthest from 15%, it takes the most time to do, and it's the most expensive. And I think I'm starting to agree with Greg Doucette on the DEXA scan. And look, I could be wrong, but this is what 20 to 24% body fat looks like. This is what I look like in comparison. And this is actually our last method. And it's the only one I've been using for the last eight years. You take a progress picture of yourself and then you compare it to pictures of what standard body fat percentages look like. This is how I put myself on the upper end of 13 to 15% based on how my body looks compared to this. And this method is super quick. It'll cost you nothing to do and it's accurate enough for what you probably need. Because the truth is, whether your body fat percentage is 12.9% or 23.5%, most of us are probably more interested in looking and feeling a certain way than we are with what that actual percentage is. And while any one of these methods might be a decent way to track your progress over time, as long as you're using the same method consistently, it's also good to be aware of the fact that even the most accurate measures can give you readings that aren't all that accurate. But if you're interested in any of the methods that I used in this video, be sure to check out the description. And if you want to decrease your body fat percentage quickly without dieting or counting calories, I recommend checking out this video next. YouTube also thinks you'll enjoy this video. Either way, I'll see you in the next video. How in the hell did you find an Xbox for under $10?